All right. Let me see if we can build us a uh, a Draco and see how it is. Create new. Yes, it's fine. I have it on a side. All right. Let's see. True. All right, so Draco. you can mess with the. Um... I assume one of these, right? Uh, yeah. So you, I have three of those two, two of the limited one. Okay. Let me. Right. Do I need three any of the Three of the... Three of both of those. Anything else? What else? Uh, oh, not from the, the Draco lineup. So, yeah, the, the monarch, monarch cards, I have three Monarch Erupts. Then I have three Fiendish Chains and three Phantom Knight Fogblades. Let's see. Fiendish Chain? Let me look up Fiendish Chain. This guy right here? Yep, three of those. Three. Which one is three the next one? Phantom Knight Fogblade. Phantom. Fogblade. Is that one right there? Yeah, three of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got one March of the Monarchs. Uh, apparently, no, is that I don't third want one there. March of the Monarchs, sure. Uh, three Dimensional Fisher. Three Swords of Concealing Light. Swords of Concealing? Oh, because okay, yeah. so continuous. Uh, well, one, they're continuous, and two, uh, they let you get over some effect monsters that you can't normally get over because it, they can't use their effects face down. Two right. Odd Eyes Advanced Dragon. God damn it. It is that oh, fourth yeah. card on the top row there. Oh, it's the fourth one right here? Fourth one on the top row. That guy. How many of them? Two. Okay. Two. One ancient warrior, loyal Guan Yun. Uh, ancient warrior Guan Yu. Loyal Guan Yu. I think it's the first R that you don't have. Second row. Oh, not not the lizard warrior. Okay. That guy. Yeah, one of him. And then three, uh, Anchamophrite. Um, A C A N C H. Um, it is that pendulum guy on the second row. Pendulum guy? Okay. How many? Him. Three. And that's it. No All extra right. deck. Oh, that's right. No extra deck. Damn. Yeah. Saving a lot because of no extra deck. All right. Yep. Let's build this up. Ooh. And it's two nice glossy because finish. Two glossies. Yeah. With no extra deck, that uh, Ancham guy lets you draw a card and get a special summon in the same turn. Damn. Broken. I wonder why I don't use him in my regular Draco, but it's probably because you don't need him. Pretty I've seen close. some regular Dracos use him, but like because it, it, I like it because we can't use the SR guy here. Gotcha. That makes so we sense. have to rely more on um, some other summons that we don't That's normally have. Win. Draco! The trap mission. Besides Paleozoic that actually used the, the, the trap cards. Man, I love Draco. It makes sense that they're good in this format because they're good on Platinum. They're very good in Platinum. They stop most decks. Uh, and also DD Dynamite automatically gets forfeited because they're bots. <laughs> so the second yep. they detect no extra deck, they go, Oof, well... This is a really shitty hand. Yeah, Odd Eyes Advance. God damn, dude. The, of My course, draws. we didn't get him last game when we needed him, and that was the only one we drew. But you have a lot of stall. You have a shitload of stall in your hands. I have a lot so. of stall. I'm fine. What is he running? Oh, no. This is the Megalith deck. <laughs> Megalith time. Well, we'll see. That's okay. Can... You can... Uh... You have a lot of effect negation on your side of the field, so... I do. Swords of Concealing will be nice. Mm-hmm. Can't activate their effects if they're face down, and they can't change the battle positions, so... Yeah, 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 He can Ritual Summon them, though, still. Yeah, he can still use them as Ritual Fodder, but I'm kind of hoping he thins himself out right here. That's what I'm hoping for, too. So maybe while well sit back, let him do his turn. Uh, so what do you think? What you got planned for the weekend? Anything? Nothing really. I got some shit I gotta do for work before the weekend comes, and then I'm just gonna vibe. That's nice. Any game you've been playing lately? Besides uh, Master? Strangers of Paradise, which Strangers is the funniest Paradise? fucking game in the world. It looks great. Um, it's so fucking funny. It looks like if um, the writing team that was rejected for Revengeance got put onto a Final Fantasy game. 
and yeah, got... kind of. It's like it's so like uh, intense. I, I, I okay. Supposedly the devs, the Japanese devs, think that the character is supposed to be cool, like played straight cool. Oh, that's um, amazing. That makes it better. <laughs> I know. It, like, how out of touch can you possibly be, right? Yes. But like. <laughs> My assumption is that the North American writing team was just like, oh, this is a gold mine. <laughs> because all of his lines and everything he does are so like unintentionally hilarious. Have I have I told you about any of this game? No, nothing. All I've seen is online of Koei saying this might be the greatest game of all time. It's it might be the best video game ever made. So there's one point the main character is just a big dick. Like that's the whole thing of it. He's just an asshole. Yes. Um yeah. and He's he's talking to this girl and she's giving him like the exposition of like my friends and I tried to fight the darkness and we lost and I thought that if I became the darkness then someone could stop me and bring hope to people and she's like in the middle of her big sad backstory and he stops her and he goes bullshit and he puts his airpods in and he starts blasting like limp biscuit and he just <laughs> walks out pretty good i should have just walked out ceiling by the way what do you think? Uh, yeah, I would. Alright. Get this guy off the like, field. So he, he starts playing his music, and he just bounces, and he, like, leaves. And the scene fades to black, and then it comes back up, as if, um... Like, like outside of where they were. So it implies that he walked the entire way out, ignoring the rest of his group, and just blasting Limp Biscuit. That's so good. I think the what, the, what I was telling Cole is because he was like, there's uh, reviews that are just all over the place. And I said the last time that this happened for a game where the reviews were either 2 out of 10s or 10 out of 10s was Deadly Premonition 1. Which was, in fact, one of the greatest games of all time, but also so full of bullshit. That you well, yeah, because it's like, the, when you get games that are like this, it's some of the reviewers are taking themselves way too seriously and not having any fun, and so they give it like a 1. And then the ones that do let themselves have fun are like, this is the dumbest shit ever, 9 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those dudes who, like, similar to when Elden Rings comes out, because, like, the UI design of this game is just terrible. And it's like, should I Phantom Blade this guy, by the way? What's his yeah. effect do? I think he gets to have another thing. You can add one ritual monster from um, your deck to your hand. The only thing that worries me about Phantom Blading it, or Fog Blading it, is that, um... It goes away. He's just gonna sack it off for a tribute anyway. You got it. So All you right. might as well wait for something that's gonna be more valuable that he's not gonna want to ditch right away, so it's actually gonna hurt him to do it. No, 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 you're right, you're right. Um, but yeah, there there are definitely some reviewers who can go like that look beyond like the jank and realize that the jank is what makes it so good. It's like um it's like a beautifully flaw it's like the first Mariachi movie where it's like this this was made on a budget of like a thousand dollars. This was made by Robert Rodriguez running around with a camera, but there's something amazing to it in the way it is delivered to you that is like that makes you just want to go fuck yeah this is, this is awesome mm -hmm. there's one you've probably seen this clip because it's all over twitter but um uh, strangers in paradise raiders uh raiders fan this final is fantasy. uh the first final fantasy protagonist to say the word fuck um never been done before until now and he says it a couple times and it's supposed to be so edgy both times like <laughs> there's one boss who's like giving the speech and it's like I am entropy. I am death. I am the lich. And he, right before he like, says, finishes his line, the dude rushes up and just screams, I don't give a fuck who you are, and punches <laughs> him in the face. Man. Would this be similar to... <laughs> is this kind of like the English cut of the Broly movie that had Pantera on it? Yes, it's 100% that. It's 100% like old dudes making this, and they're like, this is rad as fuck. <laughs> and it's not nowhere close to rad at all no it's like <laughs> it's so funny man yeah also I definitely he has like him. super edgy kill animations because this game is sort of like um it's more like a devil may cry than like a traditional final fantasy it's like action combat um and he has these moves where like you can you can do takedowns on enemies when you get rid of their break gauge Mm -hmm. um, and they're always so dramatic. Like, he picks up bombs. Like, you know, the bomb Final Fantasy enemies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when yes. he does enough damage to them, he picks them up and he crushes them like a soda can. And then he shatters them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's good. They're That's all the good like shit. That, dude. They're all like that. 
And every yeah. time he's doing them, he's always screaming like, "Die, die, die!" And I'm like, "This is so fucking..." <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's that the highest amazing. quality cheese you could possibly ask for. Yeah, that sounds great. At some point, I want to try it because it just sounds so hilarious um, that you kind of have to respect it in some certain cases. It's also so weird because out of all the Final Fantasy projects that Square just straight up vetoes, for it to be the one... Let me see. I mean, I may as well just fucking stop this, right? Yeah. He's not gonna want. Well, that's a level two. He already uses it in his effect. I just kind of want his yeah. turn to end already. Yeah. Yeah. At you some have point, just chain anyway, so it's not like you're out of options. Yeah. Just stop. And he also already used his quick effect, so he can't quick effect out of it. Okay, here's his other quick effect. Never mind. I thought. Unless I want to use two to stop him completely. Mm. That's too much investment, yeah. I think. Fine, do whatever you want. I thought I goddamn, I already thought I'd used it to stop his one effect, but it's fine. Wonder if its effect still goes off even if it's gone. Uh the the first one will because of the chain results backwards, but the one that he activated in the beginning. Oh he's getting rid of that card so he can summon another one so he can actually fight with it. Okay, that's fine. Cause the big one is actually the one I have to take care of. The one that's actually kinda scary for me. But it's fine. I can handle it, no problem. Wait, this guy, I think, does something. Yeah, that's one of the ones you want to stop. Okay. No, I'm fine right now. This card is Ritual Summon. It lets him It lets him Ritual another one, right? He's going to try and destroy it. So now I'll cares? use Who cares? He already used his effect for the turn. Which one? This guy? Well, no, he's going to pop... No, he's oh, gonna target okay, yeah, this, stop so him. Stop him. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize it was he, one of the He can do cards. it to equal to how many Rituals are on the field, so... There, we're done. You could still attack me for 15, I don't care. I just need to draw a true Draco. <laughs> yeah, really. Like, any of them. Oh, he can't attack me at all, that's funny. So his, almost his entire field just kind of locked down in a lot of bullshit. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna have to, for fuck's sake. Oh my um, God. Okay, well, what you can do is play Disciple. I don't think you can get anything out of Disciple yet. This one? No, I can't yeah. get anything. But then you can set the other one, the Apocalypse, uh, oh. and then if he actually Ooh. starts trying to attack you, you can just have all his monsters. And if he destroys the Apocalypse, you get to pop a monster. So. You're right, you're right. Okay. That makes sense. And when you pop the Apocalypse, when you use Apocalypse to pop the Disciple, you'll get to kill his back row also. Hmm. Yes, many things to do. Yeah. Okay. We're good. And here. he's got shit in his hand, and all of his effects are stopped, so... Yep. He's relying on top decking. So. It's just like me. All right. Yeah, um, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really want to try out Strangers in Paradise. It seems like you should support something that's just so inherently like It's funny because we're getting two back-to-back -back Japanese games that are working because of their flaws. Uh -huh. <laughs> like Elden Ring, uh no doubt has a bunch of flaws, but nobody cares <laughs> because the game is fun. It is yeah, good to play as like Strange of Paradise it feels like a game. It, uh, it like it's in reverse, right? Mm -hmm. Like it feels like it wasn't made in a boardroom and that's only because it feels like it was made in a boardroom 25 years ago. <laughs> yeah, it does really feel like a 360 era game. It's like Yeah, we heard... like this shit came out on the PS2 for sure. 100%. Like something around that era. It's just so silly that it's been able to get this far. Yeah, Megaliths are a pain in the ass. For sure, by the way. If you're wondering why are Megaliths so good, it's because of this. Yeah, because they can it's just fucking... they're non -shot. Well, to be fair, you're bricking like a motherfucker, and if you I'm weren't, they'd hard. be in, like, are you kidding? way more. And now he has this fucking thing, so now that's going to be a problem. Well, actually, funny enough, I can get rid of it with that. Yeah. When he summons his big boy, and he, I get to have Don't wait attack. for him to use the effect, though, because I think you have to... It, it, if you do it in the chain, you won't pop until after the effect goes off. I have to wait for him to summon it, though, isn't it? Isn't it because it's a field spell? The second it's gone, its effect is gone. Yes, but if you chain your Apocalypse to it, it will get its effect before the card you destroy with Apocalypse gets to go off. Ah, oh, damn it. Really? Because Apocalypse isn't what's destroying it. It's the pop effect of Disciple that's destroying it. So you need to do it before he chains with it. 
shit. Okay, so I'm gonna- I have to wait for the big monster, because this guy's about to have like 4,000 attack. If he's summoning this guy, he's about to have just a shit ton of attack. Actually, he doesn't have that much attack. Actually, he'll have more attack now. Oh, that's bad. Oh, he's gonna do it again. <laughs> Not great. Hmm. Yeah, see, now he's doing the field spell, and you can't... I mean, you can, but chaining it's not going to stop it from going off. Then he's going to use his effects. No, it doesn't matter, because he's using his effect. I would have never been able to stop it, regardless. Fiendish Chain, and... He's going to get rid of Fiendish Chain and Fogblade, probably. Uh, oh, but funny enough, he's getting rid of. Actually, I can just play True Draco now. May as well. Let me get rid of. Yeah, half the it's just the only. It's just not going to stop the field spell the one time. It'll stop it. You can pop it after this now. And it'll also. I mean, not that fifteen hundred is a big deal, but. I mean, cut I'm, down on the damage a little bit. He's also dying. Actually, no. I think this guy's dying because all these effects are going off. Actually, no, I can't target that guy because he has his effect. No, he doesn't. He didn't choose him. <laughs> so he still has no Weird. effects. All right. Bye. And bye. See ya. Later, dude. I don't know why you didn't pick this. This guy still has no effect. Yeah, I'm not really sure why he didn't pick that either. Um... Uh, all right, go have fun watching Utena. Uh, sleep well. Uh, Raiders fan. We'll be here only- we're only here for- this might be the last game because I actually have- someone's coming over so I have to stop playing before then. Unfortunately- Still has we, no effect, bro. Still has no effect. He's gonna try, though. He really forgot that the one that was targeting was the wrong one. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Dumbass. I love it when my opponent misplays. Cause this guy Yeah, is, that can't have been intentional. If he, if he was using the effect, I feel like he thought he saved yeah. it. He's like, God damn it! which one of these fucking things is the right one? Still have one more true king's believer. He can still summon this guy, and this is probably going to be the end of it. Yeah, because this guy's about to be a tanky boy. Well, no, actually, it's fine because true king's return. So at worst, I'm going to take one damage from this. But you have no way to pop true king's return right now without pulling a Draco. Oh no, you're right. Why didn't he attack? I have no idea. I think he might think swords of concealing light stops him. Oh, okay. You're you're kind of in the move now. Okay. Uh, play that guy. Pop him. Yes, 100%. Let's go. Get your draw get my draw on. Let's do this. And then you can special summon him and then tribute him for Odd-Eyes Advanced Dragon. Really? Oh, yep. he's a level 5. Fuck! <laughs> Holy shit! We can finally start playing the game! We can play the video games then. <laughs> we can finally play Yu-Gi-Oh! Unbelievable, but okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll take it. Yep, so now you can sack him for Odd Eyes Advance, and then you can pop that big dude with Odd Eyes. Oh, and he's about to take a lot of damage, isn't he? Uh, because whatever the monster's original attack points are. 24. And this guy's effect's still negated. <laughs> so he can't even do yeah, anything about it. Yeah, he can't do anything it. about it. Oh, love the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, we can oh chalice. chalice! What are the chances of using Chalice? But now I'm 3,400. Yeah, but I mean, you could also feasibly. I mean, I don't know that you want to sack your dragon. You could just uh, set Fogblade. Yeah, that's what and Fogblade it next turn, and then yeah, save True King's return for for popping it. Yeah, should I get rid of this guy? Yeah. Oh no, I can't get rid of this guy because of this guy. Oh yeah, okay. you can't attack him. <laughs> that's right. All right, your turn, my guy. I bet you think you're pretty fucking smart, but I bet you aren't ready for. A second fog blade. <laughs> Another fog blade. Hmm. It seems you've caught me in the terrible situation. It'd be a real shame if. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. It'd be a real shame if someone were to fog blade <laughs> and <laughs> stop you. Damn. Oh no. Someone's someone's uh, attacking second. me. Uh. Oh, no. and it took his oh. attack boost away. Oh. oh I can't attack mad. either of them. <laughs> I can't attack either of them because of fucking fog blade. Yeah, but then next turn, whenever you get a Draco, you can uh, tribute the Fog Blade that was on that one, and the attack won't go back up. Ooh, right. At least I don't think. Monarchs. I can at least protect That's... my guy. Yeah, can't target him anymore. There we go. 
You, I'm astonished you have not drawn a single Draco monster yet. They call me the greatest gamer of all time, Zen. <laughs> not because I am good, but because I have fortitude that others do not. <laughs> I just wanted to show him that I can't attack. <laughs> We're in a perfect stalemate. You should have just let me destroy your fucking monster, guy. Now we're just gonna stall this game out. Because neither one of these guys has an effect. You're out of ritual summon cards. You got 23 cards left, and eventually I will draw one of my Dracos. And this guy can't even be affected by effects anymore, so now who's... Yeah, I mean, he dumb. could feasibly pop one of the Fog Blades, but I don't know that it's even gonna help. Shit. Activate one of these. All monsters your opponent control lose 500 for each. Ritual summon one so from he's the ritual deck. summoning again. Damn, that might actually uh, be bad. Because <laughs> he could, I think he still has one of these dudes left. Let me see. Yeah, he still has another one. Whoop. Whoop. We really need to draw a Draco. Yeah, badly. Badly. Badly, we need to draw a Draco. Badly. Who's exactly twice its level? Okay, yeah. Yeah. Megalov Haggath? Why'd he get Haggath? Because he didn't have enough to get the bigger one, because he didn't have enough stars. Nice! But he is going to get a spell and trap out of this. I'm not going to do anything. How the fuck? How many cards are left in your deck? 30. So what are the chances of the... Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 Draco cards. Out of 8 of the 30 cards in the deck, what are the chances of me drawing one? Uh... 26% should I should be able to draw one of these Oh no That portal's very bad news <laughs> By pure brickage This guy is going to yeah, be Yeah this guy should have lost like 5 turns ago the, the sheer amount of bricking you're doing right now Is astonishing Yeah it's next level But he can't do this effect right now right Because he has to actual ritual He has first. to ritual to do it yeah Um, at least he can't be destroyed by battle. All right, it's my turn now. I can at least attack now. That's nice. Come on, yeah, Draco! You can break that other ritual. Come on, Draco! Jesus! Oh, that's that's good too, though. They can't do jack shit anymore. That that card is pretty much a W against this deck. Yeah, he so. can't beat me anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna attack even though I know for a fact it's useless. Does he have an effect that can do anything? That, do that? that that will stop me. Oh, okay. I just wanted to attack to show him that I could attack. Okay. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I just activate this then, right? Like, right now? May as well just show him, hey, you're done? Uh, I would wait just in case he drew something to pop. But let's see if he pops any back row first. All right, fine. You're right. Because, I mean, he straight up loses if he has no way to pop Monarch, so. This has to be the craziest deck and the, the craziest game in the world. Because the amount of unluck I've been having... I can, I'm can. i just going to use it now. Yep, just do it now. No effect. I heard it you fucked. liked... I heard you liked having no effect monsters. You should it's just... It's funny that it still prompts him to activate the other guy who has had an effect for the entire <laughs> duel. This guy... But it still prompts him every yeah. time. This guy's the fucking MVP for this man. He's been single-handedly keeping him alive. <laughs> Alright, come on, Draco card. Come on, for Draco For the love card. of God, draw a true Draco. <laughs> You have 29 cards left in the deck. Oh my god. <laughs> the worst part about this is actually I can't even play True Draco's Apocalypse. Because I only have one in the deck. Yep. Go ahead. I'm. He he can't win. Why doesn't he scoop? He can't win. He can't have effect monsters. He can't... He, this guy's been locked down for how many turns? I don't know. He can't target any of my tributed monsters. My one tributed monster is 3,000. If he could summon one of his monsters, it's 2,400. He cannot win. Yeah, he literally can't do anything unless he can get rid of Monarch. He cannot win. The best he could do is maybe Forbidden Chalice. No, it's still not enough because it's 2,900. This man cannot win, and yet he refuses to give up. This is truly yeah. A he moment. he literally can't do anything unless he has like MST that he can just top deck. I I don't know what his plan is. What are the chances he draws MST? What are the chances I just win by deck out? <laughs> All your Draco monsters are the bottom eight cards of your deck. Yeah. What if of the twenty eight cards of my remaining, all of them are face down? Because it sure fucking feels that way. 
Come on. Mm. You've got to be shitting me. Mm. I can't even use this. No, because you don't want to fill up your stone in case you draw the guy that lets you pop him to draw. Mm. And I can't even attack because of this fucking Megalith portal. He can't win. I don't know why he doesn't just give up. It's Yeah, he's... Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you! Oh, there he is. Okay. Right, get rid of the fog blade, right? Um. Is this, is this... Well, no, no, because that'll make his that'll give his dude his effects back. Oh no, it won't. Yeah. It won't matter because it won't of... matter. Oh yeah. Okay. It's uh, effectively over now. Actually, no. Which one of these destroys a spell trap card? Um. Does, the, does the, this destroy a spell the trap magic card? one. The the this one spells. Traps destroy monsters, spells destroy back row. Yeah. I'm gonna do this because I need to get rid of that stupid fucking portal. Okay, that's fine. Alright, this game's finally over. The long national nightmare is over. There's nothing you can do, my friend. Yeah, I don't really know what he can do anymore now. Just get fucking tossed. Let's get, let let us end this. Cuz you're going to lose attack. It, if I assume it this is where the scoop comes because now that you can start killing his shit, he can't do anything. Yeah, if you actually had monsters in your graveyard, Odd Eyes would let you revive one every single time he destroyed a monster nice. too. So. Next turn I have to get rid of Fogblade and I can actually attack Megalith. I need to draw another Draco. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm keeping him alive because Fogblade can't get rid of Megalith. Yeah. So stupid. It's fine. I drew one of my Dracos. It's going to be over soon. Yeah, once Has you draw to... another Draco, you just pop the Fogblade. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there's the scoop. Yeah, Thank he can't do you. it. Oh, my God. Yeah. How many turns was that, do you think? Uh, Does it tell you? Is there a way to check? Yeah, there is. Before I go in there, what do you think? Um, I'm gonna say at least twenty turns. I'm gonna say fifteen-ish. Let's check. Seventeen turns. 